Yeah, so this is like um, the stretch of river pretty close to where I live. And um, you can see that there's like a lovely stone lined path, like it's actually a stone floored path. It's real stone. And um, here are all of these reeds. And then you've got all of these all of these lovely flowers. So it's quite it's quite wonderful. I just crossed over that bridge actually, so that's how I how I got over the river before. And here are some benches. Yeah, I mean, it's a common kind of criticism that foreigners have, like, Serpent ZA and My Way 86, you know, they always say the Chinese don't maintain anything. And, um, yeah, if you look at these benches, you see that they don't usually maintain the wood, but they're very much usable, you know, they're very much usable. And you'd probably find similar benches in Australia. But yeah, there's a lot of people just stopping to, um, literally stopping to smell the flowers, and um, yeah, it's a very beautiful, very beautiful place. I'm walking home because I'm interested in locating some of the dogs, that, um, and look at this. Look at this. Speak of, speak of dogs, and yeah, this guy. I call this guy Ted, and uh, he has been abandoned. He's been living by the river for a while now, and um, he's not. He's not afraid of me. He's not afraid of me. I generally don't feed him because there are other people who do who do take care of him but uh, yeah he's in a pretty he's in a pretty bad way he's in a pretty bad way or rather um, <clears throat> it's a hot day so I think he's just he's just staying just staying cool but yeah I'll just let him pass just go past him hey Ted hey bro But yeah, he's very skinny, but he does get fed. He does get fed by other people here. And yeah, here we have some people, some people fishing. So that's very common to see. It's very common to see people fishing at these, at these places. And uh, it's a windy day, so there's bits of bits of litter here and there and um, again you know back to serpents at and those guys I mean that would just prove everything that they that they say wouldn't it but um, they're still very much usable those chairs very much usable Yeah, and this sign says, um, yeah, I know, I know some of these characters, so, so this is forbidden, I think this is Jing, and then, yeah, Xi Che, clean car, and yeah, that's ice, so that must be no ice skating, and yeah, that's swimming. So there mustn't be swimming as well. But swimming does happen here, you know. People do swim in the river. It's very common. I've seen a few swimmers. And people do clean their cars using the river water. So I don't know. 
I don't quite know what what the concern is about that. Maybe they worry the river will run out of water. But um, yeah, here are some more here are some more fishermen, and it looks like a, a lady sitting with her partner while he while he goes fishing. was my job in Australia and you can see they've got the Yamaha engine there so they don't use Chinese engines I tried to tell my stepfather that they use um, they use Japanese ones and yeah there there's a new development up there I don't think people are living in it yet but now I'm just continuing continuing back to Continuing back to the river. So, just continuing down to the river. And yeah, there we go. That's it. That is it. Back at the river. Back at the river. And this section's pretty nice down here because got this stone here and the chains and yeah these lights like most of these lights do work so at night it's quite quite lovely and then you've got these very large banks of, of flowers I suppose they're a sort of bushy sort of bushy rose but I assume, I'm not completely sure, but I assume that the housing development across the road there, and you can see it's quite sort of, quite sort of grand. I mean, it's all facade kind of stuff, obviously, but, but you can see it's quite grand. And um, they would most likely have had to pay for the development of this, of this park, or at least contribute some money to it. So that was probably, that's how real estate works in China. I guess it's how it works everywhere, but, but um, I just don't know anymore. I've lived in China too long. But yeah, they would have had to have paid for this to be built. So it's pretty cool because I guess even though people don't live there, like if you don't live there, you can still enjoy, still enjoy this. And it's like a sort of a public, a public good. And um, yeah, it's quite quite inspired really I mean it's quite lovely when you look at this little little bay and you do see like families down here and some people do treat the river more or less like a beach and come down here and and relax and and do their hobbies so it's pretty it's pretty cool very common that man's carrying a little radio playing some music and then up here you can hear a arahu Yeah, so that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool hearing that um, hearing that Arhu player. 
Yeah, my father-in-law cut my cut my hair last month. It's good to good to be a bit neater. Nice to be a bit neater. But um, yeah, I'm just walking home and uh, just thought, why not? You know, make a little river video because it's a very special. It's a very special place. It's a very beautiful place in in Tianjin, and uh, I feel really. I feel really lucky to live in a city where where there is such a big river, where there is a river that that I can come down and, and see. I mean, most rivers, <coughs> most big rivers do have cities on them and most cities are located near water, but but I feel that this one's particularly, particularly special. home so the river the river is just over there and this is obviously a really big road so yeah that's pretty interesting and then down there is where I live about one kilometer or probably two kilometers actually and yeah <laughs> so nearly home nearly home lucky I'm wearing these these Reeboks it's pretty easy to walk it's just like floating around really so yeah Keep going back. Yeah, this pedestrian bridge is pretty heavy duty. I mean, the Chinese, they don't mess about when it comes to, when it comes to building this kind of stuff. I guess the reasons for that are, are multiple. It's probably a little bit of a, little bit of a rot as well because you know it creates a lot of work it creates a lot of business for these different companies and so on but the end result is something that will something that will stand the test of time and you've got to respect that outcome But yeah, it's getting hotter in China and uh, walking on this surface, which is absorbing a lot of heat and then obviously releasing a lot of heat is pretty hot. Yeah, noticeably, noticeably cooler now that I'm off that, off that, uh, off that structure. But yeah, this is a lovely, this is a lovely walkway taking me home. And that's kind of cool. There's a pair of, pair of birds there, but they're moving around so fast, but there's a pair of them, so they might be, there we go. They might be, um, not they might be, they must surely be, they must surely be a mating pair. The birds and the bees. The birds and the bees. But yeah, this is, this is what you live for. This is what you really live for. When you live in a country like China that has four distinct seasons, the winters are long. The winters are long and the winters are grim. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the winters to me are just hard to take. Like they're really hard to take. I mean, I'm not that dramatic. Like some people are sort of like, Every winter they say they're going to leave China and then and then spring comes along and they just forget about it but I'm not that <clears throat> I'm not that dramatic but um, but they are tough you know they are tough they are tough to get through that's for sure now this is one of my favorite trees in Tianjin this is a lovely tree and some people might look at this tree on the video and think oh whatever you know it's just a tree but it's one of the biggest trees in the area where i live 
so it's it's just really nice to have like this big tree I don't come here often actually but but I'll probably start coming here more often and then we've got a pair of little well we've got three of them we've got a whole I don't know is that a gang does that constitute a gang but yeah this tree it's really beautiful I hope they never cut it down it's lovely it's a beautiful big tree really lovely tree and um, yeah yeah Tianjin and China will be a beautiful Tianjin will be a beautiful beautiful city if they allow a lot of the trees to get this big which I think they will you know they know they know how important they know how important trees are you know they're not they're not idiots just to be respectful I turned off the camera then when that lady was coming because I just thought well you know she might she hasn't consented I mean it's a bit silly to be like that all the time but I just felt like I was a a foreigner walking along with a camera, you know, holding a camera. But yeah, these trees, these trees are quite big too. These trees, these trees along here. They're quite big too. And this path continues. The path continues on.